Today, Channel 3 and Masks for Connecticut are once again giving away thousands of free face masks. All you have to do is drive up and volunteers will drop that bag with those five masks right into your car. I see some of those volunteers standing right behind Scott Haney at the Woodstock Fairgrounds. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, Mr. Parker. All right, are you ready? Yes. Ready? Okay. Yes. Centerville Bank is not here yet. Uh, they are one of our sponsors. Burns Agency, they're an insurance agency. They're not here yet. Holler and Sage. Yeah, right here, baby. Uh, all right, that's Morris. <laughs> CR Premier Properties, not here yet. Okay, Woodstock Orchards, I talked to Doug Young earlier. Line Master Switch. <laughs> what do you guys do? Manufacturer of uh, foot controls for medical devices. In oh, the cool, manufacturer of foot controls. Okay, cool. And Berkshire Hathaway. <laughs> These are our wonderful volunteers who are going to be giving out the mask today. Come on up, Berkshire Hathaway. Step right up to the microphone here. And your name is uh, Brooke. Yes. Brooke, tell us why you guys have decided to volunteer today and oh. get involved as a sponsor as well. Absolutely. This is a wonderful, wonderful thing for our community. Um, we're out here in the quiet corner, but, uh, you, you know, it's really a need out here for everybody to get these masks and to have these for our social distancing right now. So we were very excited to be able to be part of this and to give back to our community and be here today. And so many of our clients and friends will be coming through. And it's just an exciting time for our town. It is really exciting. Is. Hollering, come on up, bro. Come on up, Morris. Give us a little Good shout out. Scott, how are you, buddy? Good, how are you? Good, good. You uh, came in from Hartford. I came in from Hartford, yes. God bless you. And the need to give is so great this, this time of year. It's everywhere. Tell us a little bit about why you're volunteering today. Uh, well, we're the council for the fair so they're one of our clients and we knew that they were going to do this and we really wanted to support it i think that um you know there's a lot of need for this and it's good to have public awareness i know that th this part of the state has not been hit as hard as other parts right but this still, but you still got to be awake and you got to be aware and i think this will really help okay for terrific. people to know what's going on all right volunteers the cars are lined up and ready to go i think we're ready to open the floodgates uh we're going to open them up a little bit earlier we st started at seven but i think we're going to open them up a little bit earlier because the need is great and we don't want to make these people wait so uh we are going to take a look at this and uh, amy stefanowski is going to start the uh start the floodgates opening up and we are going to continue with that with Roger Susanna now, who's standing by at a different part of the fairgrounds. Roger, where are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I hear you, Scott. Yeah, we wanted to take a step back and kind of let everybody know just how big this event is. And Scott, you're going to have a lot more company in just a few minutes. Take a look at this. Just this gigantic crowd. They came right in through the north entrance here at the fairgrounds. And you can see there are hundreds of cars. I've talked with a bunch of people in this line and they say they are just so excited to be able to get five free, mas free face masks. And a lot of them say they can't wait to meet Scott Haney, too, uh, which I know what a thrill that is. But uh, on a serious note, folks are just really excited to be here. And despite this kind of long line right now, people are in a good mood. People say they're happy to be here. They said it was uh, easy to find. Again, if you are coming out here, and we certainly hope that you do, just plug in 281 Route 169 into your GPS and you can call me Magellan because I'll tell you the best way to get here right now. Take 84 East to exit 69, then take 74 to Route 44 through Pomfret, and that's going to take you right to 169. And before you know it, you can join all these folks in line. And as we mentioned, this event officially is supposed to kick off at 7, but no surprise that they are going to start things up just a little bit early because you can see the need is great, and certainly we don't want to create a traffic issue on Route 169. So very very soon all of these people are going to join scott haney they're going to roll down their windows and they're going to get five free masks more people are arriving by the minute i hope that you are able to come out here and join us again we're going to get about forty thousand free masks today and this event runs until 12 30 but as you can see a lot of early birds are already here reporting live at the fairgrounds in woodstock i'm roger Susanin, channel 3 eyewitness news